Did you ever take sexy pictures of Faith? Look at me, not her. I am. You, did you? Yes, it was back and forth. Jump. I didn't ask you back and forth. The answer is either yes or no. Did yes, you ever Honor. take sexy pictures of Faith? Yes, Your Honor. How old was she? 15 at the time. And you took those sexy pictures with your iPhone? Actually, no, Your Honor. You took them with what? It was a previous phone before I had the iPhone. Transferred over to the iPhone later. Okay. No, shh, they were not. Shh, shh. No, Don't speak. they were not. Jumped. Hey. And when you took these sexy photos of Faith, you were 17 and she was 15? No. I was... I don't want to hear you. All right. Because otherwise I'm going to throw you out. Okay. You got it. All right. I was 18 at the time. So you were 18 and she was 15? Yes, Your Honor. That's a no-no. I don't care whether you took it with a Kodak brownie. <laughs> remember the Kodak brownie? I remember brownie? the Kodak brownie. <laughs> That's a no-no. Now that we understand that you and I understand each other, somebody made a complaint to the police that you had pornographic pictures of a teenager on your phone. Yes, and the issue is... Yes, they did. And as a result of that, the phone was confiscated. Yes, the previous phone that wasn't stolen. Fine. Now I want you to tell me what happened with the new phone. Who, by the way, who bought you the new phone? My grandmother here. Now, did you tell your grandmother why the other phone got confiscated? Yes. And she still bought you another phone? I already had the phone when I told her it was a backup phone. The phone... Oh, just a second. We're getting better now. What does that mean, a backup phone? Which phone, phone are we Let, talking I, about? Listen to me. I don't want to hear you. I'm 73 years old. I run a very big business. I have one phone. Now, Bird does very well. He not only runs this part of his life, he has a charity part of his life. As a social part of his life. Do you have a backup phone? I do not. And your 18-year-old grandson just told me he had a backup phone. What? I'd just like to say that uh, the phone with the sexy pictures on them, I had that phone over summer, and then she bought me a new phone, which was the iPhone, and I forgot all about the... Uh... So you had both phones? Yes, I had both just phones. Just a second. So if you had both phones, listen, kid. The first thing that somebody does when they get a new iPhone is they transfer all their pictures. It wasn't a... That's the first thing that they do. It wasn't an iPhone. Listen, you had a kerfuffle with her about the phone. I want you to tell me about the kerfuffle that you had with her with the phone that's part of the second lawsuit, which is her lawsuit against you for false arrest for stealing the iPhone. I'll take that one now, Bert. Sure. Everybody can stay in their own place. So, you're suing for the iPhone. Now, you're going to tell me what happened with the iPhone after the police confiscated the phone, because now you're no longer together. Well, I'm trying to say that I had the iPhone this entire time. The police took the previous phone, the Android, so I still had the iPhone. So, over December, Faith was breaking up with me, and I met her in the car. You know, I was fine with it. You she met her in what car? My car. You picked her up someplace? In your car? Yes. Where did you pick her up? It was near her friend's house in Menifee. She was staying with her friend at the time. Okay, she got into your car and? Uh, we did the whole sob story breaking up deal. And right before I was about to leave because I had class, she asked to use my phone because she said her mother was sick in the hospital and she needed to contact her. So I let her borrow my phone and she stepped out of the car and she kind of walked behind a building and it was nighttime. And I waited five minutes and when she didn't return, I knew something was up. So I stepped out of the car and looked for her. She was nowhere to be seen. And I didn't hear from her again until about January.